Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today, na ako super early pa, and I'm getting ready for work. But while I'm getting ready, I want to test out this new foundation, this bougie ass foundation. And this is the YSL All Hours Foundation, 24 hour long wear flawless matte full coverage with SPF 20. So I got the shade BD 25 Warm Beige. Actually. The seller ko super accommodating kasi meron pa siyang um, comparison chart to MAC foundation. So, I easily para guess my shade. And, let's see kung tarang sakto yung shade na ako. Right? And, let's hope for the best. I don't want to do just a first impression kasi feeling ko lang, it doesn't tell you that much about a foundation. So, I wanted to wear it for three consecutive days and then film after each day so that you would know my thoughts after each day that I wore it. So, para medyo may, alam mo, may substance naman yung opinion ko pagdating sa foundation ko. Kasi typically, I tend to change my opinion about the foundation after a few uses out of it. Alam mo yun? Kasi talaga dun mo nakikita how it looks on you. So, basically, I'm just going to prime my face like I usually do. So, today, I'll be using my Smashbox for um, minimizing primer. Gusto ko lang ma-minimize yung pores ko. Kasi, to be fair, ito naman yung usual na step na pinatake ko to be fair to the foundation. So, nilalagay ko lang na pang shadow sa core prone area ko and sa TV zone. Hanggang sana ka naging oil. So, one half of the face, syempre, we'll test it out using a sponge and one half of the face with a brush. By the way, this comes with a pump. And I'll put the price in the description box below. Kasi syempre, alam nyo naman pag in-order dito sa Philippines, iba yung price kaysa sa online. May kasama ng mga taxes and shipping rates and shit. So when I use this sponge, hindi siya super full cover coverage. I'd say it's a medium coverage. Pero, I think you can build it up. Pero, right off the bat, using a sponge, hindi siya full coverage talaga. The color matches me to the TSM. Kakulay na kulay siya ng neck ko, which was what I'm looking for. Kasi, gusto ko, sakto yung sheet. I don't want it darker than my neck. So for the other side of the face, I'll be using my Luxie a 3 brush. This came with the Wonder Woman Limited Edition Collection. And I'm just going to buff the other side of the face with this. Tingnan natin kung saan tayo mas makakuha ng coverage. Okay, so para parehas lang naman in terms of coverage, sila mong na lang ito na very very, alam mo yun, a hair more coverage on the brush side. Pero I could say na mas madali siyang i-blend. Mas madali ano ko person na nila i-blend siya using a brush kasi medyo mabili siya matuyo. And feeling ko lang yung dark sponge, medyo hindi siya nag, alam mo yun, compatible with this foundation. So, try natin siya i-build to a full coverage. Dagdagan lang natin ng konti. Just to see kung magiging kiki ba siya, magbibilin ba siya. Let's see. So far, feeling ko nag-build naman siya ng maayos. Lalo mo lang nakikita ka kaibang nangyayari. Looking up close, okay naman siya. I mean, when I say okay, wala naman siya brush tricks, wala naman siyang patchiness. So, ipapatay ko lang yung kabilang half ng aking face. Kasi gusto ko talaga matest out siya in its full coverage capacity. I feel like using padding motions give you more coverage in your foundation. Although, okay din naman tong foundation na to to swipe and buff. Kasi hindi siya nag-reel ng streaks. I can say na hindi siya as in super full full coverage. Kasi you can see a little bit of my redness around my nose. And a little bit lang of my bags under my eyes. So, alam mo yun, hindi siya as in super 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 full coverage. So, 
Pero okay lang naman sa akin. I don't mind it. Kasi hindi naman ako, hindi ko naman gusto yung as in, all the time, super full coverage. It depends on the makeup pa rin, yung makeup look na gagawin. No? But on a day-to-day -day basis, I prefer yung mga skin-like na foundations. But syempre, during occasions, ayan, when I want to do smoky eyes or bold lips, I tend to go for full coverage foundation. So, so far, it's still tacky. I want to give it a little more time to dry. And I'll just do the rest of my makeup first. But right off the bat, it feels like nothing. Parang wala ka nasa mukha mo, which I really like about it. And for the price, Pili ko naman, medyo mataas yung expectation ko sa kanya. So, I'll just do the rest of my makeup and wait for the rest of my face to dry and I will be right back. By the way, I got this foundation for 3,200 pesos. So, the expectation is so there para sa price niya and you cannot expect anything less from YSN. But I have to say, I got it by the way from Beauty Maniacs. PH, Beauty Maniacs PH. I put it somewhere in the screen and when I get, um, Luxury brand. Sa kanya ko binibili kasi siya yung pinaka-reasonable na price ng luxury brands. And usually on hand yung stock. Usually. Pero you can pre-order. And parang sa liit lang, you can get it for around 10 days. Makukuha mo na siya agad. So less than 2 weeks. Which I really like about her. And she's very accommodating sa customer when they, when they inquire about their feed and stuff. Alam mo yun. So, which I like about her. And by the way, ang pinang gusto ko pala dito sa Instagram store na to, kay Beauty Maniax, is that when your package comes in, nakalagay siya sa parang, ano may microwaveable na lalagyan, tas nakabal, na may kape, tas nakabalot pa siya with parang saran or plastic wrap, tas nakabak, or nakabak siya, as in super protected talaga yung package mo. You feel a lot more secure about your package, so hindi siya dadating na broken or damaged, kasi she really goes to the extra lengths to protect it, given na super reasonable siya mag price, which I really like about it. So I highly recommend purchasing from this shop talaga. Okay, so makeup is done. Uh, medyo matte, hindi naman super matte, medyo matte lang yung finish niya. And, pero hindi siya yung matte na mukhang kiki, alam mo yun. Parang siya matte na mukhang bagay dito. Hindi ka pa pinapawisan, hindi ka pa naging oily, ganyan. So, which I like, by the way, kasi ayaw ko ng glowy foundation. Ayaw ko ng all over glow. Gusto ko, as in, I choose where I want to put my glow, which is yun sa top of the cheeks lang. Kasi, recently, medyo oily pa yung skin ko. So, so far, by the way, nagda-dry siya. Hindi siya nagda-dry na tacky. Yun ang ibig sabihin. Parang, hindi siya tacky. So, ang sinet ko lang talaga, basically, is underneath my face. Basically, where I put the concealer and my nose, kasi naging oily ako doon. The rest of the face, as in, super, super, super light dusting of powder na talaga. For the heck of it, kasi nga, oily ako, para preventive measure lang. And that, but, that is what I would usually do anyway. So, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo close-up. Super keenness nyo naman tingnan in big tong distance, ganyan distance, alam mo yun. Pero, alam mo yun, dahil lang sa gusto mo talagang i-review in the pure foundation, I will show you up close what it looks like. So, ang pore prone area ko lang naman is right here and right here. Ayan, yan lang naman usually yung pore prone area ko so far. And, hindi naman super defined yung pores and visible. Given na gumamit ako ng pore minimizing primer. But, medyo lang. Medyo nakikita ko pa rin siya dito. Hindi siya yung completely hindi siya yung completely nagbablur na pores talaga. So, pero all over, ang ganda no finish na talaga. So far, so good. I'm really liking it. Kasi hindi siya mukhang kiki talaga. And, alam mo yun, parang super kinis mo tingnan, which is I really like about it. So, titignan lang natin how it lasts all throughout the day. So, so ang time natin is 7am. Pero so far, I'm really, really liking it even more so than my first impression basis, ha? First impression basis, I like it even more so than my Dior foundation. Kasi mas lighter yung feeling nito. And mukhang skin-like. Hindi lang sa camera, pati sa personal. So, um, I just wear this for a couple more hours and I will check in with you later. Guys, it's been a very long day. It's been the 15 hours since I last um, filmed. And, we're not looking so good. This is not looking cute, as you can see. Sobrang yun dito ko. Sobrang hupulas na niya. Although, to be fair, it has been already 15 hours since, ano ba yun, parang feeling ko, who would wear a foundation? I mean, except for me at this moment, just in super, super, it's been a long day at work. 
And it's been a long week so far. So, ayan, I just do a little close up. As you can see, this is a guard. This is in the glasses ko, pero around my nose. And dito, sobrang nahula siya talaga siya. Given na itong part na to, nahawakan ko kasi siya. So, just be mindful na ito yung kasi ng foundation na hindi siya yung transfer proof. Although sa ibang parts ng face ko, wala kang ka walang to transfer and it still look, looks good. Basta dito, around the face, it still looks good. Pero talagang dito sa T-zone ko, medyo hindi siya talaga okay. Alam mo yun, sobrang nag-feed na siya and nahula sa talaga siya. But to be fair, baka kasi hindi siya compatible sa primer. So tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to use it again with a different primer. Kaya, ano ba, let us see. Siyempre, before you can know, how a foundation truly works, you have to test it out with different primers and different concealers. But given that dito siya nag fade sa part na to, gusto kong itry kasi dito ako naglagay ng primer. So baka hindi siyang compatible sa primer. Kaya I'll have to try another one. Okay, so I'll be back for another check-in on another day using a different primer. So day two guys of testing out the foundation. It's so early. And I went in so light. Blue. I can't talk to them. And I went in so late last night, so I'm really, really tired, and my throat is <coughs> holding on by a thin thread. But anyway, today I, I took the necessary steps to really prepare my skin. I used my Skin Denevia Oil Control Setting, setting Spray. <laughs> so today I used my Skin Denevia um, Oil Control Primer Spray in my T zone because it's just a big lang ng sa dad. And for the pores, I use my Benefit for Professional Primer. So I'll just be putting on the foundation and I'll be right back with check-ins later. Alright, so I've already got my makeup on. So today I use my Tarte Shape Deep Concealer. And I set it with, of my same um, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is side spare to center. I use my Skin Denevia Bridal Setting Spray because it's um, oil controlling and I find this one sa Ang Mega Forever One. Nung nag-do pinagpapawis ko yung mga dito ako kaya medyo mas makubi siya. Okay, isa sa wala ko yun. The rest of my piece. Sige na ako po ni Kita na yung mga dito siya. Okay, so I'll be checking in again later. And hopefully hindi pa nag-give out yung voice ko. Pero so far again, super ganda yung application. Actually, I forgot to mention last night na parang dalawa yung bumati sa akin. Parang ang blooming ko. So, ano ba yun? Parang I feel like it's the foundation because it's the new thing I use and it's super soft and shade to me. By the way, it's so lightweight until the morning, so it's lightweight to me. But it's in the smile here because it's super light in the smile here. So, I'm not even surprised because almost all foundations are using in there. So hopefully, it's more glassy today. That's what I'm concerned about. I hope it's more glassy. But other than that, I'm so happy with the way it looks. Around the first five hours. So I'll be checking in with you later after a few hours to see how it goes. The light is so bright. Oh my gosh. So it has been how many hours? I would say 13 hours since I wore this foundation. So, ayan. Pibigyan ko na ka ng body glows up. Pero sisilaw lang ako sa lights. But, don't mind yung bakat ng glasses ko. Kasi normal naman yun sa lahat ng foundation. But as you can see, Nabura na siya dito, di ba? Grabe yung line ko dito. Tapos, as in, parang, basta sa T-zone, talagang parang siyang naagnas. Ganun yung itsura niya. Pero, ano mo yun, takpan mo to. Perfect. Skin, parang siyang skin ko. Pero full, parang, alam mo, flawless yun. Pero ito talaga, oh my gosh, ang lala, alam mo yun. Hindi ko alam kasi extra oily ba ako lately. Alam mo yun, kaya parang, Feeling ko, choose itong foundation na to eh, na kailangan hindi ka dry kasi medyo matte siya. Magkikiki siya tingnan sa'yo. Hindi ka rin oily kasi super madali siya mag-break apart. Kaya right off the bat, I can see na hindi ko, hindi appropriate yung name yan all hours. Kasi hindi ganun yung nangyayari. Alam mo yun, kung oily ka. So, pero alam mo yun, hindi ko siya ma-reconcile in myself. Kasi ito, sobrang ganda niya talaga. As in, kahit i-close up ko, Diba? Super ganda niya. I know you would agree with me. Pero, dito, sobrang fail talaga. Alam mo yun. So, pero kasi, syempre, for the price, if you will consider the price, 
diba? Sa price ng YSL, parang it should do it all talaga, alam mo yun. Kaya, medyo, syempre, mas matas yung expectations. Pero, ayun. So, I will wear it again one more time and I will let you know my final thoughts. Today, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Tea Slate Lime Mas Smoothing Primer for my final day of testing out this foundation. So, I'm just going to put it on and I'll be right back. Okay, so my makeup is now on. So far, again, syempre, first um, application, super ganda niya talaga. Pero, ang napansin ko, feeling ko, I have a good feeling. Feeling ko, I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling about this day kasi feeling ko lang, nag-match sobra yung concealer. Yung formula ng concealer dun sa foundation. By the way, I use, sorry, by the way, today I use my Catrice Liquid Compact Concealer for this. And, Tingin ko, bagay silang dalawa. So, I'm hoping for the best. Hindi pa nagsisink yung sa pores as much yung foundation. Um, feeling ko rin, match sila nung primer. Kasi medyo tacky yung ginamit ko na primer and pore feeling yung sa tart. And right away, I forgot to mention, this foundation, what it seems to be is long wearing, of course, and for coverage. So, flawless finish. Ayun. So, yun talaga expectation sa atin. So, I'll come back at the end of the day and finally I'll give my final thoughts about this foundation. So stay tuned. Okay guys, it's been um eight hours since I put on this foundation. And I must say that I'm going glasses go. So I will blind you. And I must say it wore on better than the past two days. So number one, I think yung naging factor is yung concealer. Very um bagay sa kanya yung mga para waterproof concealer, more drier, more na drier pa. Yung drier concealers kaysa sa mas liquid na concealer. So yun, kasi parang kamatch niya na consistency. And yung primer, sobrang swak sa kanya. So, other than the fading on my the sides of my nose, yung smiling ko, which lahat naman na foundation, lumulubog sa smiling ko. Pero extra, very lang siya talaga mag sink in sa fine lines ko. So, yun. Other than that, the entire skin looks so good. So, gusto gusto ko yung nakuha ko na yung tamang combination para sa kanya. Pero, given that, my final thoughts are para sa price niya kasi, dapat effortless talaga yung paggamit sa kanya. Wala condition, sinip, kahit siya ang primer and concealer bagay siya. Yun lang yung sa akin. Kung hindi ka nagkakalag ng makeup, I don't think you need this in your life. Hindi siya necessity, kumbaga. Hindi siya must have. There are better foundations out there. The Maybelline Fit Me is better. The L'Oreal True Match is better. So, for me, ang, ang lamang niya lang dun is super skin-like yung finish niya and super lightweight talaga. As in, hindi mo siya maramdaman sa skin mo. Pero, I don't think that it's a necessity. Talagang super low na energy ko kasi it's been a long week, guys. Kaya super gawa na ng plans for next year. Medyo, pawala na yung boses ko pag goodbye na. So, hindi ko na siya malakasan. I just want to let you know that that has been how I tested out this foundation right here. So, for a luxury brand, I'm kind of disappointed. Pero, alam mo yun, maganda siya, but not enough. Alam mo yun, parang gusto ko siya, pero hindi ko siya love. Yun yung masasabi ko. Pero in fairness, in all fairness, hindi niya na-emphasize yung bumps ng skin mo. Hindi niya na-emphasize yung other than this area nga, yung T-zone. Everything is flawless and very, very much skin-like. Lalo na na super sakto na itong sheet sa akin. So, there. So, guys, I hope nakatulong sa itong video na to. And I hope natulungan ka na mag-decide. Whatever you decide, I gave you the facts. I showed you how it bore. And kung ang hanap mo yung long wear foundation, this is not for you. Kung oily ka, super oily ka, this is not for you, I don't think. And kung hindi ka naman nagkakalag ng foundation, hindi talaga siya necessity in your life. Kung nagkakalag ka, it's good to have. Pero there are much better foundations out there. So, I really hope na nakatulong sa itong video na to. And if it did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!